everyone, this is my shadow box presentation. So for my shadow box, I decided to focus on the pattern of symmetry, and I specifically looked at Resurrection Fern, which I have a real Resurrection Fern right here, and then I have one that I painted right up there. So on my in my shadow box, I really decided to look at live oak trees, Quercus virginiana, and how they had such a great relationship with the resurrection fern. So for my shadow box, I painted um, a live oak tree and then I pinned a piece of resurrection fern to it. So in keeping with my pattern of symmetry, I painted another one of these so that it's almost like a mirror image flipped. And I painted another live oak tree with another resurrection fern. That's a real resurrection fern right there. So in the middle of my piece, I did the painted one and the real one, and then I had my poem right in the middle, which I'll read at the end. And then at the top, I have the scientific names, which is Pleopeltis polypioides, and then Quercus virginiana. And here is another view of my shadow box. I have my two scientific names of the resurrection fern of the live oak, and I have my painted resurrection fern, a real pressed copy of a resurrection fern that I took off of Sarah's tree and I pressed it between a book and so that it wouldn't crinkle up. And then I have a painted live oak and then another painted live oak and you can hear the birds chirping in my background. And then another painted live oak and then the resurrection fern on each one is a symmetry. I found really interesting about resurrection fern and really where it gets its name from is that it can die and come back to life resurrection meaning you know die and come back to life so I found that really interesting and I went in my research I found out that resurrection fern can lose up to 75% of their water in the plant and up to 97% in an extreme drought and other plants, by contrast, can only lose about 10%. So I found that really interesting. And if I were to continue to research something else in the future, I would really like to look into what other plants are capable of this. Maybe not up to the same capacity, 75 to 97% is very extreme. But what other plants can possibly lose water and come back to life? Which is, I, I found that really interesting. And that's really kind of what inspired my project and the relationship that live oaks have with the resurrection firm and how they really provide it. Creeping and crawling. No, hugging. Like a mother to her baby. Does the fern grow. Dead then alive. With the blink of an eye. Like a flower in the snow. Does the fern grow. Short or long. Green or brown long or crinkled does the fern grow.